It's 2021, new year, new me, right? Psych, idiot, you left your Steam profile back in 2020. Let's spruce that up a bit and get you going from this to this. First thing you're gonna do is go to Steam, go to your profile, and then click on Edit Profile. This is where most of the changing is gonna be done. You can mess around with anything in the tabs and then you click save at the bottom and you can check out what it looks like when you go back to your profile. First, navigate over to Featured Showcase and make sure you have a slot available. If you don't see Featured Showcase, then you need to get your Steam account to level 10. You get a new Featured Showcase slot every 10 levels on your profile, so technically the higher level you are, the better you can make your profile look. If you want help getting your profile to 10 quickly, I have a video on how to do that exactly on my channel. Next, check your Steam inventory for all the profile backgrounds that you own. You actually need to have the profile in your inventory for this to work. The one I'll be using for the purpose of this video is Neon Lover from the game OutDrive. To do this right, we're going to be using a couple different websites, but the first one we're going to be using is Steam.Design, which is linked in the description. Sign in with your Steam account and make sure you're clicking on the old site button, it just makes downloading things a little bit easier. Once you log in, the site will show all the backgrounds you have in your account, and you can select the one you want and click download images. This is going to download the panels that are in the middle of the screen, which we'll be customizing later. The panels will download as a zip file, so make sure you have WinRAR, 7-Zip, or even use Windows Zip Opener to get the files out. You want to make sure that they're in PNG or JPEG format, not the actual .zip file itself. Next, head on over to Giphy. Make sure you have an account, log in, and choose Create, Not Upload. We're going to be creating a GIF, so we click on the GIF button, and then make sure to choose the artwork dash middle, and then customize it to your heart's content. Stickers, text, filters, whatever you want to do. Once you're done, click on Continue Your Upload, and when that's done, click on Media, and make sure you take the social link from Giphy and keep that copied. So right now we have the finished GIF from Giphy, but we have to resize it so it'll fit your Steam profile. We'll do this on easygift.com. So you're gonna paste that social link that you just copied, and then you're gonna click the resize button. Change the height to 1240 and resize and save the GIF. This is gonna be the finished product we're gonna upload to Steam, but make sure you resize the right side panel as well. It has to be done, so you're, do you're gonna do it with both. Lastly, you'll need to open up Steam on a browser. I found this works best on Google Chrome. Navigate to your Steam profile in browser and click on artwork. Here you'll have the option to upload artwork and you're going to select not game specific. Upload your middle GIF, give it a title and make sure to check that it is your own work. Afterwards, open your developer console by hitting F12 on Chrome or right clicking somewhere hitting view page source and then clicking to the console button at the top. Paste the following code in the developer console and hit enter. It's going to be down in the description as well so don't worry about it if you don't want to type it out here. This code is going to resize the GIF to fit in the Steam app as well as Steam on browser. So after you hit enter on the code and then after you upload the GIF you can open your Steam profile again. Navigate back to the Featured Showcase and make sure to select Artwork Showcase. Once you do that, you'll be able to choose the GIF in the right side panel that you just uploaded, and once you hit save, you'll see how much better your profile looks off the bat. You'll see here that I didn't see it immediately. I had to back out to my library and go back to my profile. It just takes a little bit for Steam to work it out, but don't worry. Give it a second, it'll catch up, it'll be fine. You should see everything okay. Next, we're going to talk Steam Points Shop. This is where you can get a lot of cool personalization for your profile for essentially free. At the Points Shop, you pay with Steam Coins or Points or whatever you want to call it to buy things like emotes, profile borders, mini profile backgrounds, etc. You get points by buying games, so if you're like me and you bought a lot during the Christmas sale, you probably have a lot saved up. Once you see something you like, you can buy it and automatically equip it. That's all you need to know about making your Steam profile look good. I hope this helped, and if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like or subscribe. It really does help me out. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.